Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I will show you how to fix video scheduler internal error in Windows 11. The video scheduler internal error is a blue screen error in Windows, often indicated by the error code 0x000019. It's typically related to issues with the graphics card or its drivers. Here's a depth look at what causes this video scheduler internal error? Number 1. Outdated or corrupted graphics driver is the most common cause behind this error. Number 2. Overclocking. Modifying GPU or CPU speed beyond manufacturer recommendation limits can leading to this error. Number 3. Faulty or incompatible hardware. Such as issues with the GPU or RAM is another common cause behind this error. Number 4. Damage system files can interfere with the graphics operations. Number 5. Malware or viruses. Malicious software disrupting GPU related process. Number 6. Incompatible software, especially games or rendering application can cause behind this error. Number 7. Windows update issues. Incomplete or faulty updates can trigger this error. Don't worry, in this video I am going to guide you through all the steps to fix video scheduler internal error in Windows 11. Whether it's a driver issue, hardware problem or software conflict. So let's get started. Sometimes all your PC needs a force restart to resolve temporary glitches. So before moving forward into any advanced fixes. Just try to reboot once by pressing and hold down the power button for 10 seconds. But if the error comes back, let's move on to the next step. If your computer is stuck on blue screen, follow these steps to access recovery tools. Press and hold the power button until the computer turns off. Turn it back on and immediately press F8 or Shift F8 or a specific recovery key depending on your manufacturer. For example, F11 or Escape repeatedly to access recovery mode. If it does not work, force shut down 2 or 3 times by pressing the power button. Then Windows will eventually enter recovery mode. From the tools and options screen, select troubleshoot. Then advanced options. In advanced options, Click Startup Settings and click Restart. Once the PC restarts, press 4 or F4 to boot into safe mode without networking or press F5 or 5 to enable networking. In safe mode, open Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters. Right click your GPU. Select Update Driver. And choose Search Automatically for Update Driver software. If the update fails, we will need to uninstall the driver. Right click on your GPU and select Uninstall Device. Now restart your PC. Windows will automatically reinstall a generic driver. After rebooting, visit the GPU manufacturer website to download the latest driver and install. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved.
If not solved, then go to next step. Go to self mode by following previous method. I'll open command prompt as an administrator. Now run the command dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health and hit enter to repair system files. Be patient and let the repair process to complete. After the process is complete, simply reboot once to check if the problem is fixed. If any error message shows after applying normal DISM command, then you can see our advanced tutorial on how to use DISM command in advanced way. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. In safe mode, press Win plus R. Type msconfig and hit enter. Now go to services tab. Now check this box, hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. And restart your PC to see if the problem is fixed. If you have previously overclocked your GPU or CPU, disable it. Restart and enter the BIOS usually by pressing delete or F2 key on the keyboard. Look for overclocking settings and restore default values. Once done, save and exit from the BIOS. After that, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. Use advanced command line tool to recover Windows registry. If you don't know what the Windows registry is, then here's a comprehensive guide on how to repair the Windows registry. Use system destro. If you are unable to access safe mode or advanced startup options, use another PC to create a bootable USB with Windows Media Creation tool. Insert the USB into your faulty PC and boot from it by pressing appropriate key like F12 Escape or F9. Select Repair your computer from the Windows Setup screen. Then from the chosen option screen, select Troubleshoot. Then click Advanced Options. In Advanced Options, select System Restore. A dialog box will open showing available restore points. These are snapshots Windows automatically takes during significant changes like driver installation, updates, or software installation. Select a restore point dated before the issue started. For example, if the error began on July 10th, choose the restore point from July 9th or earlier. Click next after selecting the restore point. Now review the changes that will be made. You will see affected programs and drivers. Now click finish to start the restoration process. A confirmation box will appear. Click yes to confirm. The process will begin and your computer may restart several times. The restoration process can take several minutes to an hour depending on the size of the system changes. Once complete, Windows will notify you if the restore was successful. After the system boots up, check if the video scheduler internal error has been resolved. Now you can test your system by opening application or running the process that previously caused the error. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.